What's up, everybody? This is Fred Ricciani of TSC News. Heartbreaking news if you're a Cleveland sports fan, as I'm sure most of them already know. The Cleveland Cavaliers are now down three games to one. The Golden State Warriors on the road, fired up, fired back, came back after that embarrassing 30-point loss and got the win here. They were down a lot of the game. They were down as much as eight in the second half, but they came back to win final score. 108 to 97. Now, you might ask, well, what happened? If they were down most of the game, what happened? Well, Steph Curry, 30 points, did his thing. He had a great game. Or I'd say a pretty damn good game. It was a little sloppy. There were a lot of fouls. It was very chippy. I got to say, the officiating in these playoffs has been the worst I've ever seen. It's one thing to let them play a little physical down the stretch, but it got to the point where I didn't even know what the hell a foul was. You know, I, I get it, okay? Some people might think, oh, the NBA's gone soft, and you can get a foul for pretty much anything. And yes, I hate when the refs become a part of the game. I do. I think all of us do. At the same time, there are certain fouls that we're accustomed to seeing called, whether it be in the regular season or the playoffs, and same thing with the players. Imagine if you're a player, and you're accustomed to getting a call the last round, and the previous round, and last year's playoffs, and the year before that. And all of a sudden, these fouls are just not being called. They're just letting you play. On one hand, it's 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 all right. On the other hand, it's like like, like what Jeff Van Gundy said. They're missed calls. They're missed calls. Yeah, I'm not, not a fan of, of the officiating here. But I'm not going to blame the officiating because you know what? It was called bad on both sides. Or hell, if it was even called for that matter. I mean, Jesus Christmas. But I, I just I feel bad for, for some of these Cavs here. I mean, Kyrie Irving had 34 points. He looked pretty good. Tristan Thompson, 10 points, 7 rebounds. He looked pretty good tonight. But, man, and LeBron James, 25 points, 13 rebounds, 9 assists. People will say, oh, that's not a LeBron James performance. I'm sorry, a near triple-double, getting his players involved, that, that's a pretty damn good LeBron James performance. With all that being said, down the stretch, they faded defensively. Down the stretch, Kyrie Irving tried to play hero ball you know we, we get on Russell Westbrook all the time and Kevin Durant you know oh they try to be the hero in the game they should pass the ball you know they try to do too much at the end what the hell Oklahoma City Thunder so I would imagine or at least I would hope that Kyrie Irving would get the same criticism he was brilliant in many parts of the game but down the stretch he didn't pass he tried to be the hero tried to be Russell Westbrook and uh well it did not happen for him. Russell Westbrook could tell him a lot about what happened in the previous round when he tried to play hero ball with the 73-9 and nine defending champs. So the question is, what now? What now? Can Cleveland come back? Can Cleveland roar back and win? The thing is, I don't think so. The thing is this. They have a very talented team. Richard Jefferson started. Kevin Love came off the bench. They, they have a team that gets along great. They have a team that's willing to make sacrifices to win. But I just don't think they're a better team. At this at this stage of the game, I, I just don't think they're a the better team. They had a huge win. All right? They had a huge win in Game 3. It was, it was incredible. I could not believe it. I'm like, man, this is a series. And look, they played their asses off for most of the game in Game 4. But I don't think the Golden State Warriors are the Oklahoma City Thunder. They have that killer instinct. They know when to step on an opponent's throat. Granted, they could have done that in Game 3. It slipped away. I don't know what happened. It's, listen, it's been a weird playoffs for every freaking team, All right, especially the teams that advanced. It was a weird playoffs for the Spurs, who looked to kill the Thunder. It's been a weird playoffs for the Thunder. It was a weird playoffs for the Raptors, a weird playoffs for the, the, the Cavs. I mean, it's just been weird. I mean, again, 19 blowouts we've had in these playoffs. That's an NBA record. It's, it's weird. But you know what? I'm talking about weird. I don't think a team's ever come back down 3-1 in the NBA Finals. But you know what? If there was ever a year, if there was ever a postseason where this could occur, where we've had 19 blowouts, where we had the, the Toronto Raptors finally get over the hump, where we finally had the Golden State Warriors step up to the plate when they look like they were been punched in the mouth and knocked down, dragged down. It's like, man, they're done. It's going to be Russell Westbrook and Kevin Love in the NBA Finals. Excuse me, Kevin Durant. No, no, no. They came back. There's been a lot of strange things. The officiating has been horrendous, strangely horrendous, more than usual. So if there was ever a postseason 
or something weird can happen, like LeBron James taking this series to seven games and getting a championship after 50-something years for Cleveland, this is the postseason. Do I think that's going to happen? No. Do I hope it does? Yes, because frankly, outside of this game, this series has not been competitive at all. Blowout, blowout, blowout. Okay, you know, competitive game. Hopefully, hopefully. This series goes seven. It'd be great theater. I don't have a horse in this race. It'd be fun to watch, but we'll see, man. It's going to be a very, very tough task for LeBron James and company. But I want to hear from you. What do you think about these NBA Finals? Do you think the Cavs can come back? Or do you think the Warriors got this? Let me know. Leave a comment below. Tweet us. Facebook us. Do what you got to do. If you enjoyed this update, please like, share, take care, and don't forget to subscribe for more NBA updates. Enjoy the games, everybody.